So we have a table here showing you the Glasgow bedspread and the process of how this is drawn out. So the acetate has the tracing in a permanent pen, obviously, onto the acetate. So this is traced off directly from the actual piece. So this was laid on to the antique piece um, quite a while ago, actually, now I think about 10 years ago, and it was all drawn out. So um, then what we do is take the um, acetate and put that down onto a light box. And we've got two A1 size light boxes, so they're huge and they're quite expensive, but honestly well worth having two because you then have a level surface. So this is uh, Georgie writing on it. It's always important to write on it because then you get it the right way up, which I've done many times before. I put it the wrong way up and then oh, I'm stitching it in reverse and it's terrible. So then, then this is using a um, micron pen which is permanent and it doesn't damage the linen and this is going out to a customer who was very keen to have a Glasgow bedspread and because we had one cancelled order from the final lot of the Glasgow bedspread we were able to do that so this is Georgie's absolutely beautiful drawing now obviously with a hand drawn out piece like that you don't get the long and short soft shading stitches drawn in but she does she does draw in and it's very fine and it's in a um, sort of sepia brown so it's very sympathetic with the colors so that is the process you have the acetate um, it's all stuck on here with masking tape so it doesn't move at all and then Georgie I can see is halfway through drawing it out so she has done one half of this panel which is double the size of this table so it's a big bedspread. Now we are actually awaiting the arrival of what we nickname Meg's Monster which is a fantastic piece of needlework that my friend Harriet Roberts, who's our test stitcher in Memphis, and she is, uh, she's finished it, and it's on its way, <laughs> so it's really exciting. So when it comes, we'll film and show you the next process of making a kit that's this sort of size.